can't see it, but that's all swamps. <laughs> see, maybe you can see those. It's all swamps. And the trail keeps going in this direction. But obviously, I'm not gonna be able to cross that swamp. But maybe later in the year, it's not as bad. I can actually get more than three quarters of a mile jog on different trails, maybe. Mud pie. Okay. That was the swamp thing. <laughs> going in a little bit. I just did the other side, followed a pipeline along the fence. Pretty much the same area. It looks like from a topo map that the elevation drops about 150 feet, which I didn't think there was 150 feet of elevation out here anywhere. But that's what they said on the topo. I think they're dreaming. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those little Texas stories. <laughs> Let's see. It's funny, it's like every 30 feet in the woods is another road or trail. <laughs> the swamp. It's not wood. Well, it's a woody swamp. What does that say? Hmm, swamp thing language. It's kind of pretty. Minus the ugly metal bent culverts. <laughs> but hey, trying to be grateful here. This is wonderful. So far, I've moved enough that the mosquitoes haven't carried me away. Actually, it's not too bad right now. I think it's about 75 degrees. Humidity is around 98. Um, but it's bearable because it's 75 degrees. At least the humidity was 98 at home on our property, but I don't know. I'm sure it's the same everywhere. I oh, look, another swamp thing marker. Nice. Oh, must be a native pecan tree. Maybe that's what the marker is for. Well, I don't know. I see a lot of sweet gums, but I don't see any pecan. Maybe it's a native Texas sweet gum tree. Hey, probably. <clears throat> There's still little ball things up there. Okay. Okay, more swamp. Yeah, there's just a uh, low spot that runs along this section here. Oh, I wonder if I can get around it there. It might just be low because... Ook, ick, ick, ook, ook, ick. Okay. No, I'm not going to be able to get through that either. Not without drenching my nice tennis shoes. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Swamp thing. Be nice to find some trails in this area to get a good jog. This will actually work if I can just connect the dots. Pipeline. The chemicals running through the ground that created the swamp thing. Hey, maybe I'm the swamp thing. <laughs> okay, going back downhill. But this isn't as wet.
Aha! I may have found a crossover. There's the marker. Dead tree that could fall on anybody at any moment. And two tattered old wooden rotten posts with a story. Or not. About Swamp Thing. Nice fungus. Hey, they do have mushrooms out here in Texas. Nice. Looks like during the floods, water was rushing across here, judging from the ground. You can see how all the grass is swooshed into the same direction. And it looks like it was underwater long enough to rot a bit. It's coming back. All the pine needles, same thing. And let's see if we can tell how high it got. Okay. See that debris hanging right there? Let's see how much debris is at that level. Well, there's some. This could just be upper tree fallout. Very well could be. Could be. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was actually too high, but it looks, well, maybe it did get, look at this little group in here. So you can see where the water This striated in the same direction, pine. So the water was definitely moving through here. And it appears that it was, appears it was over my head. I mean, seriously? It looks like it was over my head through here. Wow. Ooh, is that a grape pine? That could very well be wild grapes. It looks like it might be. Wait, wait. Okay, maybe not. Maybe growing on something else. It's not poison oak. I mean, poison ivy. <gasps> it's a butterfly. Oh, well, there it goes. It's not poison ivy because poison ivy vines put out fingers that bury themselves into the surrounding vegetation, usually a tall pine tree. So it would either be trumpet vine that hasn't got its mojo going yet for the spring, or you gotta watch for ground hornets out here too. Ground hornets, moccasin, rattlesnake, coral snake, black widows, brown recluse. So fun! All the joy. That looks like a grapevine. Kind of. Let me see. Closer. Look. If the mosquitoes don't attack me while I'm doing it. If I could find some dried up leaves. Maybe not. Maybe it's trumpet vine. Maybe it's dead and it doesn't matter. Hey. <laughs> okay. Onward. And downward. Well, actually right now on the uphill. Oh, shut down. Oh, maybe not. Oh, looks like I can go around. Very tropical, rainforest esque. Little log. A little bit of roots, some deer tracks. It reminded me of Thailand. What's back here? Oh, it's a pipeline road. Is it? Oh, those little nesty feathers. 
there's people. Imagine that. But anyway. On the next gas line trail. <laughs> way, 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 way down there, I can see a big old green pipe too. Well, Spring Creek is actually straight ahead. I'm gonna go uphill, see if I can find another cut across. Wait. Okay, so where that dead tree is right there, before the, oh, duh, before the mud puddle. As if I'm gonna get very far past this mud puddle. Nya. Nyat. Nyani taktomio. Or yatak nidomio. Shit. Don't quote me. You might sound like an ass. Okay, so. Well, another time. The goal is to get to Spring Creek Park because today that was the denial. So, Spring, Spring Creek Park next time. Spring Creek Park next time. I was saying that the other day too. Scream freak. Sounds like, okay, anyway. <laughs>